Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be giving you an update on the Waterbox 50.3 all-in-one reef tank. Okay, so last time I had made a video on this tank, uh, it had looked a lot different than it does right now. There were different fish in here, we had different corals. Uh, I, at the time I was struggling with LPS, I still kind of am, but uh, the biggest change since then has been um, the change of fish. So shortly after recording my last video, I had that small Atlantic blue tang that was still a juvenile. Um, he had developed some sort of ick and it spread to all the other fish in my tank. And within a week, I lost almost all my livestock or I did lose all my livestock in the tank. So with that, um, I took some time off from the fish keeping side of it and uh, let it cycle for about four to five months. And I actually just picked up these guys the other day. Um, they're the firefish. Got one there. And the other one there. So as I just mentioned, uh, I was struggling with the fish, but I was also struggling with LPS. Uh, I still am. There's a Duncan coral. I will get into that in a minute. But over here, I had my candy cane corals that I had transferred over from my 13 and a half. Um, I had a frog spawn right here, and then I had a torch up here. Again, shortly after I recorded that last video, pretty much everything went haywire. I lost all my LPS. I lost all my fish. Um, so like I said, I just took a time off from everything, let it just kind of go through the motions. I really, really, really wanted to be patient with it before I jumped in and started adding a bunch of stuff in. Um, I added this Duncan in last week. This was my first test back into the LPS area. Um, immediately it was closed up and it wasn't happy. So I started running tests um, and I noticed that my tank was low on magnesium. So uh, I'm trying my best to get the magnesium levels back up. And as I started dosing that, um, it started to pop back out a little bit. So hopefully in the next week or so, it will be fully out. So this is what I'm using as of right now to dose magnesium into the tank. It's uh, magnesium from Brightwell Aquatics. Um, I've just been dosing about two and a half capfuls of the product every other day as per the instructions. Um, and it's slowly been raising the magnesium in the tank. So we'll see, hopefully um, in a couple weeks I'll have it where I want it. But uh, as of right now, I would recommend this product. It was fairly cheap, got it off Amazon. So uh, if you're struggling with magnesium, try this one out. So speaking of water parameters, um, they've been relatively good. Um, I haven't done many water changes just because there hasn't been much uh, demanding corals in here. I've got the clam, but other than that, there's not much that's drawing from the water element. So I don't have huge fluctuations yet. As I start adding those stone, stony corals, obviously that's going to change. Um, but I did test this morning. My alkalinity right now is at 9.1. My calcium is at 400. So I'm going to be dosing for that tonight just to bump it up to that 420, 430 mark. Um, magnesium is at 1200. Again, I'm working on raising that up at the same time. And then my salinity was at 1.025. Um, so I'm fairly happy with those parameters. Obviously, I'm keeping a sharp eye on them, uh, trying to get those mag levels up. Um, but the other corals have been doing good, the softies. Uh, if you look back at my old video, you can see how much those eagle eye zoas have grown. They're actually going into the blue hornets. Um, I've seen some decent growth with the rastas there. Uh, I picked up a new frag over here. The toadstool, he's grown. I've seen a lot of growth on this uh, mushroom. And then over on the side, I've seen a lot of growth out of this mushroom as well. So not all is bad in the tank. Um, it's just been a little bit of a struggle lately. Okay, so plans for the tank moving forward. Um, I did wanna add some livestock into the tank again, get some more fish in here. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I've got the two firefish. Um, they've been very cool. It's nice seeing some life in the tank again. I do want to get some more clownfish. I think I want to get more than two. 
Um, I was thinking maybe four. I don't know if that's too many. Um, maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments, but I would like to get more than two if that's possible for this tank. Um, and then just something different in the future as well for fish. I don't know what that is as of right now, but um, I don't know. We'll see if something catches my eye at the store. I do want to add some more corals once we figure out the problem with the magnesium. Once I see some growth out of this guy, uh, then I'll kind of know that I'm ready to get back into the LPS game. I want to add some more candy canes, um, see if I can be successful with those again. And then, you know, up on this rock, I'd love to get some SPS. This one, mainly LPS. Uh, some A cans down here on the bottom, down here as well. So um, definitely, definitely some big plans coming for the tank. It's just all about patience. I'm going to take my time with it not going to rush anything um, and make sure that the tank is ready before I just start throwing a bunch of stuff in there. Okay guys, well that wraps up this update on the Waterbox 50.3. I will leave you with a little bit of a video here just kind of going over the corals without any talking um, so you can kind of look at that. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the tank, please drop them down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Those are always appreciated and as always, subscribe if you enjoy the content. I appreciate all my subscribers. You guys have been amazing.